So, two more conversions today. We got number 275 and 276. We'll start with 275. So this, these are both from this pound, 10th anniversary pound selection number three, and it came out just in 2022. This is Frame MSA 005 Methus. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. If you're curious, here are the other robots in the series. Yeah, okay, some stats usually. Yeah, 26 meters, 50 tons or something. Yeah, all right, so that seems all right. Typical Gundam stuff, they're big robots. Mm, that gum is good, but I'll chew it later. All right, uh, looking at the fandom. It was introduced in Mobile Suit Zeta Gundam. Uh, where's the paragraph here? So a transformable suit, so like a Transformers. Uh, Project Zeta tested for the Zeta Gundam, which I don't think I have. So eventually I'll get a Zeta Gundam. Bits. Very easy to lose. Understand. Okay, let's uh, minimize this, pull up some images. So there it is, I guess, in the transform, like jet mode, in this robot mode. So this is uh, actually quite a darker yellow than I, than I thought it was going to be. It's like a mustard. It, yeah, looks like a mustard yellow, but a darker mustard yellow. <laughs> Uh, these arms are probably stuck with paint, so let me try to break that paint off. So the head, alright, we got the head off. I wish they just didn't have these attached in the first place. Hold on. Boy, those are really stuck. You can see how the paint is torn off uh, on both sides. It's interesting that this peg size uh, looks bigger than the other, but I might be mistaken. Let's just take a look at the uh, arm. There's a hex hole. It's very flexible PVC, very soft. These hands, I'm guessing, are separate pieces because it looks like there's two other ones. This is just a fist and gunmetal. I like that this metallic green here and here. This is just a blue here. This, uh, I don't know what this is. Where is this blue piece? Okay, I'm assuming this goes in here. What direction? I think the bump goes in the front, according to that image. Now, this piece is so small, I would recommend you glue that in place. Because it might just fall out later. I'll do that uh, after this video. Okay, so that's nice. So, I guess we can put those arms back on. Well, let's continue on. There's actually some details you can see without the arms. It's got like two rods going into their back. I don't know. It must be part of the transformer mode. Sadly, this is not a transformer. Alright, gunmetal neck. The blue here. And then this mustard yellow. Really nice panel details. I bet those open up on the real one. Okay. Bottom of the feet details are okay. Nice vent details or thrusters. Or that's it. I think that, well, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe it's a mechanism for the transformer. Vent. Not too much color, though, uh, in the vents, you know? There, there's no color in any of the vents. But I guess it's better to have it up here, where it's really visible, and uh, down at the back or something like that. So I should probably put this head on first. So this head, let's see if this, all right, it has a mono eye. Let's see if we can get the head apart now. Here we go, stuck paint again, you heard that. So you should be able to move this, yep. Alright, so that's nice. You can move the mono eye a little bit. Pop this back on. And it's just some black paint in there. I would have guessed it should be green like the rest, but oh well. Oh, that's, is, a, is that a hexagon peg? I don't know if that's supposed to be a hexagon on the head, but yeah, I don't think it's actually supposed to turn, which is stupid. 
I think it'd be better if it was just round so you could turn the head left and right. Right? Why would you limit articulation if it could have it for free? So the other hands have uh, the ability to hold stuff, so I'm going to take this fist out as well. And it must be these things, these are like guns, I guess, like pistols. So let's just saw it pops in here. I do like that the barrel of this pistol is really deep. Like it's literally a hollow tube, right? That's a pistol. Nice. All right, so that hand goes on this side. The other pistol. The other hand. Man, that hole seems a little small. Come on. There we go. Alright, dual wheeling. That's sweet. I get a Robocop 5 for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. He only had one pistol. Alright, so this thing goes behind its head. Uh, this is a little bent. This is PVC, which is nice. You know, if it falls off a bookshelf, they'll probably survive. You can also dip that hot water and straighten it out. I'm not going to bother right now. Uh, the blue is matching up here, front and back. There's a little black in there. Gunmetal here. And then, oh, nice, nice thrusters there. I like how they have cones in the middle. So, that must peg in. Okay, so it pegs into this thing and the back. First, I gotta get this thing. All right, back. So I guess in flight mode, it's supposed to be something like that, according to that image. Right. Actually, again, it's not a transformer. If I had to guess, this thing folds backwards, the legs just go straight, and it becomes like a jet. But for now, it's a robot, and a pretty cool one. It's very unique. It kind of reminds me of Alpha Zero the big giant mobile armor with this thing above its head. <laughs> Alright, a little peg stand, and we'll deal with that later. Let me reset. Okay, so next we have what, chassis code XM05, Berga Giros, or Berga Giros, I'm not sure. It's number 276 in the overall lineup, and it's the same collection as the last one. So should that come later? from the F-91 movie, which I have not seen, piloted by Crossbone Vanguard Sabine Chalou, and let's see here, designed, upgraded version of something called a Berga Dallas, which I don't think is in the Converge series, uh, better than the F-91, I guess, hmm. and this Shot Lancer, I guess I'll have to get an F-91 one of these days. All right, so I'll stand again, and uh, let's look at this figure here. Let's take it apart again. That one's much easier. Oh, this one's coming apart nice, nice and easy. I don't know what the deal was with the other one. That stuck paint was ridiculous. All right, starting from the bottom, we got some sort of thruster details down here. This is a matte purple finish. That's peg hole, it's a hex hole. And then we have a matte light gray as an accent color. Maybe some thrusters there. Uh, interesting bent there. Uh, Gunmetal, nice on all the thrusters in the back. So that's cool, it's got a lot of thrust. Some peg holes here on the side. The neck is also a gunmetal. So that seems pretty cool. Um, let's go with the head. So the head, yeah, nice. It's got like sky blue translucent lenses here. You can see some sort of silver back there. There's some silver paint up in this little nook here. The accent colors. Uh, some folds or something in the back of the helmet. Looks like it's going to need some antennae. Alright, which are these grayish colors. I assume it goes in this direction. Yeah, so I would really recommend you glue those in place because I think they will be knocked out very easily and lost forever. 
Okay, well, anyways. Yeah, interesting look. Alright, going to this arm, or both arms. We got hex holes, we got some sort of uh, piping going around the front to the rear. Looks like a chain or something. Uh, the hand? What's going on here? This hand looks like. Alright, it's a separate piece. And it has a handle already to something that we're probably going to attach. Oh, that lance. And we attach this here. And it's nice because it actually wraps around the forearm. So that little peg, although it's tiny, it's not supporting all the weight. You know, so that's that's well done. Very cool. And then the lance itself has like a metallic kind of uh, finish to it. I don't know if that's a separate piece. No, I don't think so. Got good details though. Very cool. Alright. So this on here, we just have a closed fist. I don't see any other hands. Now, this hand is a lot smaller than that Methus. Let me pull back that Methus hand. See, it's it's physically quite small, so you don't want to mix and match that particular robot's hands to this one. All right, this forearm has a nice little, <laughs> really minuscule shield. Uh, yeah, otherwise it looks pretty much the same up here. All right, so now we have two little wings, as it looks like. They got that gray. I would have to assume these must be thrusters, but there's no detail in them. I don't know which side goes where, but I'm assuming because the peg is staggered down, it goes in like this. Yeah, so you can angle it up a little bit, or a lot actually. You can actually clear those antennae. You know, looking at this, maybe they're upside down. Hold on, hold on. It's, it's a box. Now, I, I do have it like the box, but I'm gonna flip them anyways. Let's just see what it looks like. Just looking at that image. Oh, the different size peg holes. Now, oh, that's dumb, you know? I guess it's telling you it has to go a certain way, but I mean, look at this image back here. It it's got four squares, right? And that's that's what I'm seeing here. So it would have been nice if they were just equal sized pegs, equal sized holes, so you could play around and just have variations. But I guess they don't think that's the way to do it. Okay. So this thing did fall over a few times. It is kind of back heavy, so you might want to use the stand. But we'll see if it falls down or not. Uh, so here's a Zeta Plus. This is number 90 in the overall Converge lineup. And I have a ZZ. This is number 69. And you'll see in this cartoon, you have a, a Denon, Denon guy. So that's what this guy is. This crossbone is an X2 crossbone, number 66. So yeah, this is quite imposing with this horn, or whatever that's going on behind this head. It's quite a tall one. Uh, the head seems to have popped out. Okay, there we go. Yeah, alright. I detailed this one up quite a bit with some paint and sharpies and stuff. The other ones I haven't gone around to in some day. Everything takes time. Well anyways, these two guys are, they're, they're okay. They're just standard, I guess, run-of-the-mill converges. Uh, just, I like the thrusters on this one. Actually, I like the thrusters on that one too, because there's so many of them. This is an interesting color. You know, it turned out a little different than I thought it would. This looks pretty much like the promotional picks. I like its lance gun thing. I like these two double pistols. So there's a lot of, a lot of good stuff going on after all. And they didn't cost too much either, so being new releases. So I think there's a different colorway of this. There's a blacker, like a, a different 
like opposite basically it's mostly black with maybe purple accents it also might be metallic I don't know I have to look back at that box no, here it is yeah 277 is the black vanguard so it's like flipped right okay thanks uh, for tuning in as usual and I'll see you in the next video bye